Hi, y'all. It's me, Stacy J. Uh, some of y'all know me as uh, Stacy J420. Uh, that's my Instagram handle, but on YouTube, which is where this will go first. Um, you know, I'm not real good at editing. I'm just going to put that out there. But anyways, um, I applied for um, the Glow Recipe, uh, you know, ambassador. And I pray to God I get it. And the reason I pray to God I get it is because, you know, um, I had somebody who cared enough about me <laughs> to, because uh, it's been a rough past few years for, I think, everybody. But anyways, um, I had somebody who cared enough about me to let me get some things that I needed, uh, not wanted, needed, um, from Glow Recipe on Afterpay. And um, I did order $300 worth of stuff, so, so that's why I pray to God, like, when I applied for the, um, the Glow Gang, uh, you know, brand ambassador for glow recipe it wouldn't accept my video so that just broke my heart you know because i'm having all kinds of problems you know like with my back and you know a few years ago um i went through colon cancer like um i had my surgery done right at the beginning of the pandemic when the pandemic hit us where i'm at which was in April, and I had already paid for my surgery. Yes, I had to pay for it. I didn't have insurance. I have another story. Um, but anyways, um, I do have a, a few problems still, you know, showing up with that. But first, I want to say to Glow Recipe, you know, every video I have is about Glow Recipe. I gave up uh, my makeup, basically, for Glow Recipe. I gave up getting no clothes for Glow Recipe because I'm 40 years old and yes, I would love to have no makeup. <laughs> I would love to have uh, every launch that I could get, um, you know, from certain brands. And, um, you know, I won't mention them on here because some people think that they're problematic or some people don't like the person behind the brand and, you know, Either way, you know, that has nothing to do with good makeup, but that's beside the point. The point is that uh, if it wasn't for one uh, problematic person that some of y'all think is problematic, um, and everyone has a past, and I'm not making any excuses or taking it for anybody. I just have to get that out of the way. Um, if it wasn't for them putting the uh, banana souffle on their story on Snapchat, and Instagram, I would have never known about Glow Recipe. And ever since then, I think that was 2018, I've been using Glow Recipe ever since. I will not use anything else on my face. The only thing that I use different is um, the Clinique All About the Eyes, and it's only because it literally does depuff instantly, you know. And I need that, especially when I first wake up in the morning. As you can tell, when I smile, I haven't used it yet <laughs> because I wanted to give uh, what I got a full review. But I'll do an unboxing here in a little bit. Let me adjust my ice pack here. Um, I got a ruptured disc in my back and uh, I spent my new years at the emergency room and... Uh, Anyways, whole nother story, but anyways, um, L4 and L5, that's, that holds all your body's weight, and that's where I had my surgery at in um, 2018, right before I found out that I had colon cancer, um, you know, and anyways, um, I just wanted to say that I had a disc put in and disc around because mine were ruptured well for some reason only the left side um was replaced so the right side was not replaced and um it's causing me extreme pain it's hitting my bilateral nerve and my sciatic and 
I know at least 10 or 12 YouTubers or Instagrammers or TikTokers right now that are having severe back issues. So this year really hasn't started out right, but I can tell you the best thing that's happened to me this year is that, um, well, my uh, person that cares about me <laughs> enough to let me get, uh, you know, some glow recipe on aftercare, uh, not aftercare, after pay sorry i suck at editing and i get my words mixed up and anyways i'm trying okay i'm in a lot of pain sitting up but i have to do this um because i applied for you know to be the uh, a brand ambassador for glow recipe and when i went to submit my video it just would not submit um and it broke my heart because you know, like I was doing my nightly routine, I was putting my serum on, and I was saying why I loved res Glow Recipe and could not live without it. And I mean, I cannot live without it. Like, if I was on a deserted island and um, I could bring uh, one thing with me from this world um, on that deserted island, it would be Glow Recipe. And there's still a few things that I don't have. Um, you know, I, I think I got a few samples of everything. But I literally need everything that they have. Like, I cannot live without it. But I couldn't wait to try this. I don't have um, one of the, you know, silicone um, spatulas. But I've already washed my face with the uh, uh, Blueberry Bounce, uh, you know, jelly foam cleanser um i've already done that and i had to look and see how you use this and it does say excuse these toenails they're not like the rest because i had a little bit of issue with them because they were just um a little too long for me to be right-handed and um opening that box of 300 dollars worth of stuff um which i don't care I don't care how much it costs, but if you get $300 a month quarterly, oh my God, that would save my life. That would be so good for me. Every video I have is about Glow Recipe and how much I love it and how good of a brand it is and how basically it has just saved my skin. Um, you know, there's something for everybody. Um, uh, you know, normally it's my Christmas gift to myself, but this Christmas was rather sad, I must say. Um, but anyways, enough, enough of that. Let's get into the good stuff. So, um, I'm going to read about this if you've never used it. Um, it says glow recipe, of course, <laughs> watermelon glow uh hyaluronic clay pore type facial and it's pore refining plus exfoliating so when i read about it basically it seems like it is more like a chemical pill but without the harsh chemicals because glow recipe is natural and i love that i mean there's nothing about sustainability and things being natural that uh you know, that's what we need in today's world. You know, really, I mean, really, <laughs> that's what we need. And um, it's just the best brand I know of uh, for anything. I recommend it to everybody. I go places and people say, uh, what kind of makeup are you wearing? Uh, you know, your skin looks great. And I tell them, I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, you know, it's Glow Recipe. You know, it's skincare. It's not makeup, you know. And I've referred a lot of people. So, either way, let's get into this. This says it is a non-drying clay for all. It retails, I think it said $40. Um, which is not bad because, you know, it's 2.02 .02 fluid ounces. And it's 60 or 60 milliliters, which is actually quite a good size okay um and then on the back it says uh you know 
the watermelon glow hyaluronic clay pore type facial pore refining plus exfoliating this facial in a jar that's in quotations shrinks the look of pores i need that because my pores are so bad here and up here like i don't even know what to do you know i use the um the toner the pore type toner um because i'm really big on the glass skin and i uh, i love that toner i will not use anything else and i've used other brands you know um i've been sent things to try out and uh you know they're okay but they're not glow recipe that's all i know to say um anyways it says it shrinks the look of pores that's very important to me dual exfoliates and surges skin with moisture ideal for all skin types whipped hyaluronic clay combines kaolin or kaolin i'm not sure how you say it it's spelled k-a-o-l-i-n and y'all can make fun of my country voice if you want to i don't mind one bit you know i am who i am uh and anyways um it combines that with hyaluronic acid to minimize the look of pores while hydrating the skin which is very important because every mask that i've ever used um has just dried and made my skin feel horrible and that cannot help for aging and i'm 40 i'm a minority um i am a dutch and uh american uh cree is uh my tribe that my papa my papa was full-blooded uh cree indian so i'm american indian or native american whatever you want to call it um i don't get offended by it and dutch so uh my papa was full-blooded cree and uh my nanny is uh you know dutch <laughs> so um you know either way that's what i identify as i don't identify as white you know um i am biracial or more than two races you know um and that's just the truth of it you know but anyways i'm a minority so let's see about this um it says watermelon enzymes pha which i know is good and willow bark bha and i'm pretty sure that's in several of the products that i use from glow recipe those two things and aha i think is the name of it um chemically exfoliate decongest pores and smooth the look of texture while gentle blueberry seed powder wonder how they made that but i'm not here to wonder i'm here to try honey physically exfoliate skin okay usage on cleansed moist skin apply a generous amount all over the face rinse with lukewarm water after five minutes and follow the rest of your skincare routine for sensitive skin types leave on for two minutes and gradually increase amount of time up to five minutes can be used daily slight tingling may be experienced okay so i'm not afraid of that the ingredients are all right here um i don't see anything i mean it either ha it has a radish root um blueberry seed natural fragrance titanium dioxide which y'all let me know if y'all know what that is okay um aqua water um kaolin i hope i'm saying that word right um sterile sterile i'm not sure how you say it alcohol uh hydroxypropyl propyl starch phosphate i'm not i know i'm i know i'm slandering these okay 
So, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to read the ones I know. Um, but the fact that it has, oh my God, the fact that it has a uh, watermelon fruit extract, hydrated silica, seawater, um, Salix Alba, which says willow bark extract. I mean, I'm obsessed. It has a uh, bamboo stern extract. Um, oh my, goji berry fruit extract. This is not only clean beauty. This is K beauty too, you know. Not that I'm surprised, but like some of y'all might be. And it's so important, you know, like we need this. This is all we ever need. We never need another brand. We never need another brand, okay? Um, but the fact that it has, I wonder what the radish root uh, does, you know. And uh, anyways, like I said, it's also got blueberry seed along with the, uh, you know, the blueberry seed uh, powder. Um, either way, I can't wait. So, um, it does say avoid direct contact with eyes and lips, which I would do that anyway. The only thing that I do put on my lips other than their, uh, uh, what's it called, a glow pop, they didn't have watermelon, so I had to get blueberry this time. I'm going to do an unboxing later. I'm so sorry about the length of this video, but uh, I haven't made a video in a while. And, um, you know, I've been going through a lot. And uh, this is life. This helps me. So, uh, anyways, it says, uh, do not leave in direct sunlight. Uh, but I do put... Uh, this mist, this has the best mister on it anyway, in the world. Like, if every mister could be this way, it should be. Like, but either way, okay. So, I looked up, um, how to use it because I wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing. And in order for it to say, um, use it on, uh, moisturized skin that's what it actually said i want to make sure yeah on cleansed moist skin okay when i looked up on the glow recipe uh website it just says basically um that you can just use water because i was thinking okay do i use my toner do i use this uh you know, what do I do? So, I decided I want to give it a full, full review, full, honest review, okay? So, I got a washcloth, and, um, I got some, uh, spring water <laughs> on it, and so, I'm just going to do that. That way, my skin is moist, not wet, but moist. Okay, and if this helps with breakouts, I have this little, on my nose, it's red, and it's been that way for a few days, and uh, I don't know what to do, because it's like under the skin, but I'm just going to pat until it feels moist everywhere that I'm going to put it. Not the eyes, but still, you know. Just definitely want to. I hate that I don't have a silicone brush. Um, especially from Sigma because it just breaks my heart. But uh, with me using my phone, yeah, I'm balling on a budget. Okay, so there's the plastic lid. And here's what it looks like. And I guess what I'm going to try to do first is uh, get what's on the lid off because I waste nothing. And I'm just going to, you know, slightly put a little bit 
here and there because I don't know how much it's going to take, you know. But if I can just get that off the lid, we're going to see about this. All right, now, since I got a short nail there, I'm going to see how it applies also with the finger since I don't have, like I said, a silicone brush. And you can call me bougie if you want to. I'm going to scoop some out. It doesn't say like you got to stir it or nothing. But either way, I kind of feel like maybe maybe you should some. I don't know. I see the blueberry seeds and stuff. But it looks like yogurt kind of. Just imagine. And I don't know how much it takes. It doesn't tell me. So I'm going to <laughs> hopefully not... Uh, drip any <laughs> so far it feels really good um but i'm gonna just you know get what i got on my spoon here and then i'm gonna start um putting it can't get too close to the eye so i'm gonna use the short fingernail right best thing to do and then, I'm not really sure how thick you're supposed to put this on. But, I do have, um, like a dehydrated, uh, I have an oily T-zone, and then I have a dehydrated, um, U-zone. So, I definitely have, um, combination skin, and I do have sensitive skin. Yeah, I definitely feel the, uh, the blueberry. It smells really good. Make sure it's not on my lips anywhere. Um, I feel like I need some more. And that might just be me. But anyways, it says that you can either rinse it off when you're done. That you can either rinse it off with warm water or that you can use a you know the washcloth or whatever so there's not really that much like left on my thing on my hand so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some more because i feel like i need some more and i want to make sure that um it honestly does not dry you know so i'm gonna get some out here i'm gonna put it in my hand Wish I had something else to use. I'll make sure and somehow get me something. I have the avocado, you know, um, that you use at night. I'm going to give a little extra special care to my pores right here. I always see a lot of cars going by like when I have the curtains open, but... That's where I have uh, a lot of problems with my pores. But like I said, it doesn't really tell you um, how much to use. It doesn't say if it's okay to like put it in your eyebrows or whatever. And then are you supposed to put a clay facial? Like are you supposed to just like pile it on? Because I think normally that's what I used to do. But I use the avocado at night. Yeah, I'm going to put a thick layer. Because, you know, I don't think you're supposed to really use this. When I watched the video that uh, Christina from Glow Recipe put, um, her and Sarah, about the product, um, it says that you can do this uh, basically once a week, um, you know. I mean, if you do have problems with your pores like me and then here I am might not be putting in my eyes but definitely I'm putting it in my eyebrows so but see the blueberry uh seeds so I think that's cool <clears throat> and then like I said just a little bit more but if you just use this once a week um, 
or something like that, it would last you a really long time. And I'm using it generously, so. I wish I had a silicone brush. <laughs> but it's okay. It feels really good. It feels uh, kind of nice and cool. And then, you know, I do got some hyperpigmentation and things like that. Especially around um, this area. Especially that side for some reason. I haven't experienced any tangling um, at all. So I'm definitely getting the pores on these nose because they need help. And then after this, if you just use your daily routine, then I'll do that. But... I just hate to make a real long video because, you know, probably nobody will watch it, but it doesn't matter. At least I can look back on it, you know. And I can tell it's not drying. Um, And I love that. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. I don't know. And then five minutes. So, um... I'm going to make sure it's not on my lips. Wish it kind of looked smoother. I wish I knew what it was supposed to look like, you know. Alright. So now I'll just let it sit for a few minutes. And then I always, always um, clean up like around the top of my jar. I'm so weird about that. I always keep the plastic um, inside of like my banana, my avocado um, night mask, all that. I also have the avocado um, eye sleeping mask. And maybe someone can tell me what is the difference in that and then just the, uh, I just had to do that because it's not messing up, but I just wonder what the difference is. Um, I wish Glow Recipe had an app. And then I also wish that they had, they do have great customer service, I can say that. Um, but I wish I knew the difference in um, the actual, like, avocado mask and then um, the avocado 
uh, night sleeping uh, eye mask. I don't know what the difference is. I'm trying to make sure that none of this is around the the top. I mean, it's quite a bit of product. Y'all might make fun of me, but I want these pores gone. So, uh, up here is my problem area. Where you can see my pores. There and my nose. I'm just glad it don't dry. That, I mean, it's a shocker. It's like, it doesn't dry. About two more minutes. Total. It does feel a little dry there, but I might have just thinned it out, you know? I mean, in reality, I probably did. But it does feel good on, you know. Yeah. I'm weird about my glow recipe stuff. Like, y'all just don't know. <laughs> and I've tried a lot of brands like uh, Shishido, I think is how you pronounce it. The only brand that I really haven't tried, I like, uh, is it called Alemis? Or, I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyways, I've tried Tola. I've tried, um, it's hard to get all that off there, but, you know. Um, anyways, I've tried Tola. I've tried, um, that Alamis. I've tried, a uh, La Roche Pose. And I didn't really, I just asked them, like, hey, y'all didn't send me any instructions how am I supposed to use this? And they told me to work it into my night routine. Well, I wasn't really big about working it into my night routine because my night routine is glow recipe. So I went ahead. I'm going to put this where it dried. Like, it's not uncomfortably dry, but either way. And see, when I smile, it, like, doesn't crack anywhere. I'm loving it. I'm going to bring y'all in for a close-up before um, I remove it. And then there's my plastic still in there. Get in there. I'm just going to put it in there. <laughs> Bye. I mean, so far, I think it's just another uh, something I'm going to love. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I take it off. So if I do pause uh, my video, it's just going to be because, uh, like I said, I'm using my phone. I'm balling on a budget. And uh, if I need to warm this up, if you're supposed to rinse it with warm water, lukewarm water so this is cold so that's what i'm gonna do but first let me bring y'all in for a close-up so this is what it looks like It does feel quite nice on the skin, I must say. And I did avoid the eye and lip area. I hope it really does um, do something. Now, uh, I'm going to... I feel like that one little... That's where I've got like this little red dot like Rudolph on the end of my nose. And I really hope this will help because I don't like to use like a silicic acid or anything like that. 
I really don't. I don't think it's good for you. I like natural stuff, but I'm going to put that on my nose. Right there. Because it's been red for a few days. There. And it'll probably take me two minutes uh, to get lukewarm water. Trying to see if there's any other place. I wonder why it kind of did like that over here. But if you just go to rub it, I've noticed you can feel it exfoliating. And then over here on this brow, I had a little spot that was like a scab at the end. And I don't know how it got there. I think it was like a pimple or something. But I really like how this is a clay mask and it does not dry. Like that blows me away. Like, they did so good with this. <clears throat> it smells good. It feels good. It kind of feels like yogurt. And it seems like a few years ago, in like a boxy charm or an ipsy when I used to be subscribed, um, you know, before like the struggle was real <laughs> with me, um, some brand made like a, you know, like a, it was in a little tube and it, and it said, uh, some kind of yogurt, uh, you know, clay mask. And, uh, yeah, it was like strawberry yogurt or something. I'm going to see how you put this back down in here. Like, does it go in this way? I think, I think it does. Because there's the bottom. Right? Yeah. I mean, they've got the, the cutest, best packaging in the world. I don't care what anybody says. I love it. Everything they have, I love. Okay. So let me put this back in here. Because I got to do an unboxing. But y'all just remember. I use this first. So let me pause. It's at 37, 28, 29, 30. Right now. I'll be right back with lukewarm water. To uh, get this off my face. Okay. I'm back. And it's at 37, uh, 40, 1 or 2. So, lukewarm water. I guess I'll start from down here. Oh, my. It really just kind of um, wipes off easy. I don't know why I closed my eyes, I guess, because I know that it could get close to it. And I put an old towel just in case. I hate to take it off my nose where I have the pore problem. I'm sure y'all can hear this too. But I do like how it just kind of wipes off very easy. And then like I said, I just got this because um, I wanted to make sure this was nice and wet. And then I did put it in my eyebrows. So I got to make sure that it probably got a little bit in my hair too. So I've noticed that um, it didn't really tangle when I used it, but when I started taking it off, it did a little. I did put a little bit on my neck. I don't know why. I guess just a habit. And I'm trying to make sure. Nope, I didn't get it all up there, did I? Hmm. 
balling on the budget here. But yeah, I did get it like, um, you know, up there on my eyebrows. Does anybody else hate like washing their face in the sink because it gets like your shirt and everything dirty? Not dirty, but wet. <laughs> you know what I meant. Well, dirty too, because you get like soapy water. And makeup, if you got that on. But like I said, I basically gave up my makeup. Now, I do got one review to do. It's the new uh, Charlie, Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beautiful Skin. I got to review it, but I had to try this. Let me make sure I got it off. The nostrils. <laughs> yeah, um, it didn't, uh, it didn't tangle or anything like that, uh, while it was on. But I noticed that removing it, it, it kind of did, you know. But I'll do like a... You know, just a second rinse, uh, just to make sure, and I'll do that in the sink. And, um, I kind of just want to, oh, okay. Well, it doesn't feel like I left any on there, so I'm just going to kind of dry. And I'll probably do this, um, I just got an old towel, so y'all excuse it, but, um, I'll probably do this, I don't know, maybe a few times this week, if I feel like I need it because of my pores. Um, and other than that, it says once a week, so, but this does kind of feel, uh, good and fresh you know I'm trying to dry my eyebrows and pat <laughs> you know you never want to just like rub maybe i'll get better at editing and maybe i'll get better at um you know youtube videos and Maybe Glow Recipe will say that uh, everything I do is about them. And uh, I'll get to be an ambassador for the brand. That would be like my dream come true. That's crazy, I know. But I just love Glow Recipe. Plus, you know, I could spend $300 a quarter easy. Um... And anything new that they have, I want to try. But anyways, this has been the review. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, like, I do have a glow. And this is just natural light. I guess I can get rid of the towel now. It feels really smooth, like, um, you know, it does feel really smooth. I just want to make sure there's, like, not none in my hair, because I have a lot of hair. It's hard to put it back for things like this. But y'all let me know, um, have you tried this? Have y'all tried a glow recipe? What's your favorite uh, glow recipe item? Uh, I personally can't wait to use um, my pink dream body cream and then finish doing my face routine. I'm going to do that and then take a shower and then begin my day after I upload all this. And I just hope that... Uh, like I said, my goal for this year 
is to be a brand ambassador for Glow Recipe. I'll just keep looking and I'm really shining. And while I'm here, the first step <laughs> is uh, this. So, y'all excuse me. There is nothing like that, I'm telling y'all. That is the best stuff in the world. Excuse my hair. Yeah, I just don't, um, I don't see my pores, so if it worked that first time, I will not quit raving about it, y'all know me. When I like something, I'm very influential about it, like. You know, if something's good and it works, it deserves to be known. Normally, I let that dry on its own, but I could see where it was sticking to, like, my peach fuzz. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and sat that down, you know. But one thing that Glow Recipe asked was, what would I like to see from them in the future? I would really like to see, um, you know, not really makeup, but maybe like a skin tint that, you know, would be good for your skin because everything they do is good for your skin. But I kind of would like 